Amen and amen and amen. Let's look at, at Ecclesiastics. <laughs> Who can pronounce better than me? Ecclesiastics. Ecclesi what? Ecclesi. Yeah. Tuangalia mubiri yani. Chapter 9, verses 10, part A. Let, let's begin there and see something that is important. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 10. Let's read together verses A. What does it say? Whatever your hands finds to do, do it with all your might. Why? For there is no work. Where the dead are harm. Where you're going. Whatever your hands finds to do. Okay. Assume you are reading a message from somebody you love. And you really want to know what was in their heart. Let's try it again. Whatever. Uh -huh, do it. Why? That is the place of the dead. And where is that? Ebu ambia jirani yako hiyo ya mwisho? Ambia akisha kuangalia muambia where you are. Now I want to say something that I think is important. The Bible says whatever. Whatever. Your hands finds to do. Do it with all your might. The real translation says do it with the concept of your heart, your mind, and your strength. Whatever your hands finds to do, do it with all your might. Three things today that I think are important today. I want to talk to you about commitment as a seed. Commitment as a seed. Three things that are very important. Number one, Life is designed in such a manner that it responds to a man's initiative. It doesn't initiate anything for anybody. Maisha imepangwa kwamba inaitikia, it responds. Ukipanda kitu kwa ardhi, ita respond kwa kumea. If you plant nothing, it will never give you anything. God designed life in such that it responds. The Bible therefore says, because God does not love other people than others, he has established a principle that if you put your commitment to whichever level, that determines the harvest. The Bible says a laborer is worth. Listen, the word worth simply means the value of your commitment determines the value of your harvest. And I want you to listen to me, my friends. Success is a response to a man's initiative. Let me say it again. Success is a response to a man's initiative. Ufanisi ni mwitikio wa initiative ya mtu. Watu wengi waliofaulu kulingana na mawaso yangu na kuangalia kwangu, sio watu walio na vipawa, Sio watu walio na privileges, sio na, watu ambao wako na uongozi, they are not the most talented. I have discovered most successful people are not necessarily gifted, talented, or preferred. They are the committed. Life is designed in a manner that it responds. Apandacho mtu, ito ndi atafuna. That's why Biblia inaongea kwamba maisha inalinganishwa na vitu tatu namba moja inalinganishwa na mkulima sold out commitment inalinganishwa na mkimbiaji commitment wakati unapiga makofi na kusema no man is limited kabla hujaonekana kwa screens utaonekana mstuni 
miti watakushangilia ama utachishangilia kabla watu wachakupea thawabu life responds to your initiatives some of the great preachers i know don't look very anointed but they are very committed some of the great businessmen that i know are not the best are not the most qualified but there is something about them they are committed some of the great leaders i know today are not the most eloquent they are not the most gifted have you discovered great people are not very handsome talk to me some of the people who have survived the test of life are not very gifted but they are very committed number one life responds to commitment Commitment is someone's resolution. Amen. Commitment is someone's resolution. And take it from my heart. Life is designed to respond to your commitment. And somebody is asking me, I'm committed. I want to, I will, I will give you a yardstick of what commitment is versus what real commitment is. Because commitment cannot be measured against your needs. You are not committed because you have a landlord. No, you are not committed because you have pressure for school fees. You are not committed because you have children. Brother, be committed to your work. You are not committed because you are under pressure. Commitment must be separated from pressure. Amen. If your commitment is informed by your needs, your bills, your school fees, you, it is not commitment. There is a difference. The motivation tells what commitment is. Life is designed to respond to a man's initiative. The level of commitment determines the level of response. Would you help me look at your neighbor? Tell them, in you, Amen. there is greatness. There is greatness. Uh, look at your neighbor. Some people are too indisciplined in church. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. You are so potential and gifted. But your commitment determines the depth. Listen, there is oil on earth. Commitment determines how soon we get it out of the ground. There is wealth in soil. Commitment determines what we harvest. There is favor. Listen, some people have gone to the moon. I am sure in the mind of God, he designed that moon can be accessed by man. But time determines how soon. I mean, commitment determines how soon you get there. Listen, I don't believe I am a good preacher. But there is something I know. I am committed. Everywhere I have worked, if I go back today, they will not need a committee to reinstate me. No, wherever I have been, I have worked. Everywhere I have served, they miss me. Life responds to commitment. I look at the word commitment. Commitment simply means the following. Commitment simply means the quality or state of being dedicated to or fully sold out to a cause or an activity. Commitment simply means the quality, the emphasis is the quality or a state of being dedicated to or fully sold out to a cause or activity. Sikia, commitment is stronger than witchcraft. You can be bewitched if you are committed, witchcraft will catch up with you when you're through. Amen. Let, let me show you something. If you know anybody your age met or younger than you, or who went to school with you, or was not even as sharp as you in school, or doesn't have your status, and they seem to be doing something better than you, it is not magic. It is not patapotea. It is not patinas yokitu. It is not good luck. It is commitment. Amen. Commitment is on the quality. It is on the quality of your dedication. It is the state of being 
dedicated. Dedicated simply means the following one. L let me for a phrase and say, commitment is when you have only one and only one option. The Bible says you can never have divided commitment. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all they do. Listen, your heart is designed in a manner that it doesn't do two things at the same time in the same intensity. Moyo wa mtu ili umbwa kwamba haiwezi kuchitolea kwa ukamilivu kwa vitu viwili inamaliza moja kwanza. Ndio maana Mungu anasema kama utanipenda lazima unipende kwa moyo wako wote. Unataka kunipenda? Unipende kwa moyo wako wote. Nguvu zako sote. Akili yako yote. Kama moyo wote na akili na nguvu haipo ndani. Are you are not committed? Sikia watu wa Mungu. Watu wenye wako gerezani wanafanya kasi kwa sababu wanachapwa na masharti ya gerezani. Kuna watu ambao maisha yao hawafanyi kwa raha. Wana, wanaelekezwa na masharti na vi, viboko vya maisha. Kuna watu ambao wanaamushwa na shida. Kuna watu ambao wanakaa kasini mpaka usiku kwa sababu ya shida. Kuna watu ambao maisha inaelekezwa na uchungu wa madhara. You seem to be hard working but you are under the infliction of pain like a prisoner who seems to be working so hard. But the truth is they are working under the influence of pain. Commitment is when your heart, your mind, which brings the aspect of the soul, which means you must love what you're doing. Sikia, kama upendi kasi unafanya, pesa unapata, haita kupenda. Sikia, kasi itakupenda vile unaipenda. Hebu nisaidi ya mjie jiranivo, kasi itakupenda vile unaipenda. Kama unapenda pesa kuliko kasi, pesa itarijuse kwa kiwango ya mapensi yako kwa kasi yako. Shetani ya shindwe fululiso. Uki invest 100,000, na unapenda kasi 10%. Guess what? Or even if you earn 100,000, and you allow for the work is 10%. Guess what? 100,000 will only accomplish 10% of your dreams. Because money takes the value of your commitment. And dika yo naweka kwa Facebook. Ustue watu leo. New revelation. Money takes the value of your commitment. It reduces to the value of your commitment. Don't worry about the noise. It's part of the... Those are committed people. They are committed people. I love politicians. They are committed. They say learn to do anything. I love politicians. I'm learning a lot of lessons from politicians. Nani nangoja siasa ishe. Tuko na lori ya crusade. Tutaansa yetu. I love mutu wakuja nisimamisha but you are making noise. Mwashimiwa. Mchichunga sana. Mchichunga sana. Musitumia kura yetu kututesa. Look at what they are doing. Tomorrow tukita kufanya crusade. Wana tuambia to live 8,000 for one event. We are making pollution. Listen. Say with me, commitment, commitment. determines the value yeah. of your income. Okay. So what does that mean? Commitment reduces your income to its level. If you are earning 5,000 and your commitment is 100%, 5,000 can meet a need at that level. Because commitment does not only give you money. It gives you the reward of the pleasure. In what you do. Nikimalisa kuhubiri hapa leo. Kando na kwamba mumebarikiwa muko hapa. Kando na vaida ya kenye mumepata hapa. Kuna kitu moja ambayo inashinda hii kitu. By the way, sikia. God is my witness. Kile tunatoanga sadaka haitoshi kulipa hapa. Tunatoanga pesa kwa kanisa, tulipa hapa. That's why sasigine na waomba. Hey, mutusaidia kulipa, kulipa. It is not enough. Hata nyi munajua. Uni ulisi jiranyako. Sadaka kubo ushu hapa ningabe. Ukiona kuongeleshi ujue ni sehemu ya shida yetu. Na sikia. But there is something that makes me keep paying this place. The fulfillment I find. 
I see you as the reason for my living. It gives me joy when I see your faces turn into a smile after a while of engaging in a state of your frustration. I am so glad that you come with your troubles and live with joy. Yeah. And I've never complained. I see some of you come here looking dark. And then I realize after 10 minutes, Kumbe Oluko Brown, Kumbe Nishida Ime Kusambasa. Commitment is a quality. Now listen, commitment is when what you do is who you are. Wow. Commitment is when what you do is who you are. It can never be a commitment until it takes over as your identity. You cannot be a pastor until what you are doing is who you are. I am not doing pastoral work. I am a pastor. Sio kasi ni nafanya ni maisha naishi. Sio kibarua ni nafanya. Iyo ndiyo ni nilie. Ukinipata kwa street mini pastor. Ukinipata kwa mastanga mini pastor. Ukinipata hata ukiniona kwa mkutana ya siyasa. Mini pastor. Labuta natafuta na mna kuomba. Lakini ni pastor. Hata ukikuta ni mefaa kinyasa na kofia. Bado mini nani? Pasta. Niki nyoa nyuele yote bado ni pasta. Niki weka kalki bado ni nini? Pasta. Ukinikuta bathroom bado mini pasta. It is who I am. Can I ask you a question? Have you become what you're doing? Now listen. Life is designed in a manner that it can test whether your commitment is who you are or what you want. Listen, God confronts Israel and says, listen, Israel, you've become like a prostitute to me because you are singing and you are worship and your offerings are not who you are to me. It is based on what you want from me. Huh? Listen, commitment is when what you do is who you are. What is commitment? It is pledging allegiance. I swear. That's commitment. I swear. Pastor Weto alituambia siku moja lanjawa hila, I think two weeks ago. He says, anything you are willing to die for will live for you. No, no. Anything you are willing to die for will die for you so that you live. Anything you are willing to die for will do what? Will die for you. It is allegiance. What one way? Kama moyo wako uko na sababu kwamba isipofaulu ni ta. Tuliambiwa hapa, if you create an exit door, you will always have a reason or find one to use it. Ata kama hakuna emergency. Utaansa kufikiria, hii nyumba niliumba, nilitengeneza na emergency. Sinijaribu siku moja nione vile hii emergency inatosha mutu. Ebu ni ulisea jirani yako. Kenya unafanya isibo faulu, utadu. Na upate jibu. Ama sema nini? Ako na plan B. That's exactly. Listen, I am a pastor, na nimekua ni kifanya biashara kidogo, 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 kidogo. You know, ile aku, you know, yu vitu, vitu, vitu. Lakini nikafika mahali, nikaona utamu wa pesa wa piyashara. Kidogo inaansa kuaffect uchungaji wangu. Nime reduce piyashara yangu imebaki an eighth commitment. Kwa sabu nilitambua pesa ya piyashara ni tamu. Na mutu wati kustanganya pesa ni tamu. Iwe umeiba ama umefanya kasi pesa ni nini? Ni tamu. Hebu ambi jirani hivu, hii kitu inaitua pesa ni tamu. So nika realize, pesa ninapata kutoka biashara. Pesa ninapata kwa shuguli sangu huku. Inashinda kile tunatengeneza huku. Na kitu hika niambia, enda hunda, alafu kuche huu. And I discovered, money only goes to where it came from. Kama huku hunda pulpit, haiwezi saafu pulpit. 
the reason why you don't tithe ni kwa sababu you believe it was your sweat Mungu anaingilia wapi alikuwa wapi Ni ulisaje rana mara ya mwisho ule tight ni lini Ukiona ongei tight iko kwa mfuko saa hii Sikia hata Mungu ni msuri kuunda pesa and I subscribe that and I want to tell you that lakini ni realize kitu moja legacy ya pastor sio nyumba anaishi ni kanisa anachenga Ninaelewa sasa kwa nini Daudi aliambia Mungu, Mungu, ninaishi nyumba nzuri. Wewe ndio ulinifanya mfalme. Umenishindia vita. Na sasa inakuwaje Mungu? Mimi naishi nyumba nzuri na sanduku lako wewe Mungu inaishi kwa hema. Kambia Mungu I cannot be living in this house. Commitment is allegiance. Allegiance simply means you are sold out. You think about it you pray about it all your friends are about it your address code is about it three quarters of your thoughts are about it you dream about it you talk about it you walk like it you eat like it you dress like it you shape like it you do everything like it you have become it now listen to me it only pays you to the level of how much you've become what it is Pastor Samba Moko hapa. Anointing doesn't grow the church. Commitment does. Huh? Listen, wonderful, beautiful, and some people were here. What you are does not, what how you look does not win you favor. It is commitment. Did you realize something in God? God tested commitment in man before he raised man. Angalia Bible throughout, angalia Noah, angalia angalia kwanza Adam. Commitment ilikuwa kitu ya kwanza, usikule hii tunda. Be committed to that. Wakati alifunja hiyo commitment akafukuzwa. Na akaambiwa lima shai shamba. Angalia Noah, chenga safina. Angalia Abraham, toka kwenu. Angalia Isaac, angalia Jacob, angalia Elijah, angalia Moses, angalia watu wote. Mungu atakupea kitu kulingana na vile umechitolea kwa hiyo kitu. Allegiance kitu ambayo umejitolea allegiance hauiongelee vibaya sikia if what you doing if if any excuse is enough excuse for you not to do what you doing then you are not committed unaona ile kitu ambayo ukipata fursa ya kuchomoka utachomoka mara moja it's not your commitment commitment means devotion Devotion means focused, 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 focused. Devotion means it has taken over your feelings and your reactions and your emotions. Devotion means you think about. Have you ever, have, have you ever, have you ever had somebody who was in a relationship and then the relationship broke? Have you ever had somebody like that? Na just yo wewe ushaskia mtu ambaye alikuwa kwa relationship, alafu relationship ika break. Wanalia of you of you. Munakaa tu munaongea na alama. Nini nimekufanyia nini? Anafikiria why they were devoted. Devoted means you have sold so much of your life that if you are to lose it you have lost you. That's why listen, people who walk away from you easily were never devoted to you. Commitment means devotion. You know what commitment means my brother? Take my heart I'm giving it to you. That's commitment. That's devotion. Devotion means hii moyo wangu nimekupea. That's why the preacher who was here last week alituambia I I I watch I, I was away and, and I watched him when he was talking about he kitu tunaita my covenant brother, my covenant sister. Listen. A real covenant brother is tested when you are alive is under threat. Wacha hii commitment ya mashilingi. Wacha hii commitment ya WhatsApp. Wacha hii commitment ya siasa. Siasa, siasa, sio siasa hii yenye nasema siasa ya vitina. Can I ask a question? Ni nani ukimpigia simu leo kwamba unahitaji 100,000 atakutumia pila maswali? Ha? Hata kama hana, lakini ni kwa sababu wewe umempigia simu. Ataeomba, atafanya kitu upate Uko na mtu kama huyo? Hebu niulize jirani yako. Uko na watu wangapi kwa simu yako? Imejaa. 
<laughs> Kati ya ni miangapi elfu ngapi? <laughs> elfu tatu. Kati ya watu elfu tatu unatembeanga nao kila siku. Wangapi ukiwapigia simu? Send me 100,000 right now. Atakwambia give me 20 minutes. How many? Facebook una, uko na wangapi? 5000. Wakora tupu. You, you know. Okay, let's come home. Ni nani unazomuita leo mwambie my sister my brother. My heart is breaking. I have gone through issues and this is what I'm going through. I need somebody to hold me. Na kushike, akupeleke kwake ama lunch, akushike ulie, ulie. Ukimaliza akupangusia machosi na kuseme lean on me do you have one ama ukita kulia unaenda prayer mountain let me ask you the last question how many of you have problems you can't tell anybody uko na shida tu inatokea kwa maisha wesi ambia mtu kwa jina la baba na mwana wesi ambia mtu hebu nione you know what that simply means You have no friend. You have no friends. Commitment is devotion. When somebody said where you go I will go. That was not a religious statement for boys and girls to entreat us to a vocabulary they can't explain when they are trying to cheat us that they are in love. That is not a statement to write on your wedding card. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, where you lodge, I will lodge. You are people. Do you even know my people? They are my your people. Where you die, I will die. Where you are buried, you will be buried. And let me tell you, let me warn you. Any statement you make will test you before it works for you. That's okay. I'm just when you have kiango, wa kukufa na kupona. Atakufa siku moja kidogo. Devotion is commitment. You know what devotion means? Everybody can live. They will find you there. You are devoted. Muende, murudi, mutanipata hapo. Kwa sababu mulinipata hapo. Sikia watu wa Mungu. Make sure Kenya unafanya watu walikupata ukifanya. Ili wakienda wale kuacha penye walikupata. Devotion Devotion simply means commitment simply means you try once you fail you try the second time you fail you try the third time you fail you try the fourth time you fail you try the fifth time you fail you try the tenth time you fail you try the thousand time you fail why because you have no alternative that is what must work Amen. and guess what everything you are committed to will test you before it works for you. Amen. Say with me commitment, commitment. As, a seed. as a seed. Now listen, tomorrow the future only has a harvest of your present commitment. People ask me what is the secret of your success in ministry? I can tell you for free. I am harvesting my past commitment. God is my witness. Even when I was a houseboy, I did it with passion. I did not do it waiting for greener pastures. And listen, there are no greener pastures anywhere. If you see them green, somebody watered them. Huh? They say, don't give men fish. Teach them how to fish. I have a different picture. Don't just teach people how to fish. Teach them how to own a fish bond. Unajifunza ku fish, alafu una fish kwa bond ya nani. Na ukikuta kwa hiyo bond mwenyewe ameandika no fishing today. And that's a problem with our education. They teach us how to fish. They never teach us how to own a fish bond. Tunafundishwa kuandikwa kasi. So wakati hakuna kasi, tunaleta issue. Listen to this statement. The difference between an employer and em an employee is in their hands versus their hearts. 
Tofauti kati ya mwajiri na mwachiriwa ni mikono na mioyo. Waachiriwa wengi wanafanya kazi kwa mikono. Waajiri wengi wanafanya kazi kwa moyo. Waachiri wengi hawa, hawachilipi mshahara kwa sababu wanangojea thawabu. Waachiriwa wengi wanafanya kazi kwa mikono. Kwa nini? Kenye kiko kwa mikono ikitoka kwa mkono inaenda kwa mdomo. Kenye kiko kwa moyo inaenda kesho. Can I tell you something? According to my p- position as a pastor, there is no failure anywhere. Everybody who is alive carries the potential of greatness. But the depth of your harvest is always determined by your commitment. Hii kitu unatafuta watu wa Mungu iko mahali. Lakini urefu wake unaamuliwa na commitment yako. Can I recommend something to you? What you are committed to defines you. What defines you rewards you. What rewards you favors you. And what favors you gives you an identity. Last week, some of you knew it, some of you didn't. On Thursday, I graduated. And I graduated with a very strong document. Indirectly, right now, I'm supposed to be an ambassador. Yes. So, Mashimiwa, Maskia. Mini ambassador. <laughs> Ukitaka mtu wakuenda kuongelesha inji fulan on how you can get aid or investment. You have one for free. You can pay me later. <laughs> and I was given ambassadorial dress code. I think I'll put it on one of these days in the lunch hour. So that you see our ambassadors dress when they are going for serious negotiation. So mkiona maneno yangu imeanza kupungua mjue ni ofisi mpya niko ndani. Good. In fact, uh, I'll be changing my dress code. Nitaanza kufaa kirasmi kama ambassador. So hii manguo nitaanza kupanda so kama unaamini Mungu kufaa nguo nishafaa mnione kando. Amen. It's a devotion. You know what a devotion means? You shut all other opportunities and say this either here or nowhere. Devotion. Long life is a commitment. I want you to package your offerings. Mushimwa, good to see you. Can I can I introduce you? Mushimwa, some kiss. Yes. Mutu Yes. MP. Mutarajiwa.